HIM TV people! The room's not that big, so I couldn't spin properly. And we've got we've got a we've got a guest appearance in here. We've got we've got this moggy. Check this cat out, it's wild. It's absolutely crazy, this thing is. I've never seen anything so fast in my life. Look at it. Anyway, this is the challenge John moment. It's another one of those videos where someone's had a problem, not really been able to sort it out, and I think I have. So this is a, a mid-terraced property. So behind me there, give it a tickle, that's the front door. And spinning round, so I'm in the rear reception room. So this is the outside wall here, where this window is. And then obviously from about there in is the kitchen. Roughly, roughly speaking. So we can obviously see we've got lots of damp issues. So we can see underneath the radiator there, there's no wallpaper. Wallpaper here is coming away like so. We've got obviously some signs of mould down there. We've got some there as well. And we've got a little jungle. So what, So we've got a couple of problems on this one. So first problem is obviously that. So we'll take that one off, number one. Cha -ching! Number two, <clears throat> come into this kitchen. And what we have is apparently when it's raining, and raining really, really heavily, is the floor gets wet in here and holds the water. So we've got water ingress from there. <clears throat> so obviously I've looked at the taps, looked at the pipe work, but I've actually spoken to the tenant to save a bit of time, and he says it's only happening when it's raining. So there's a bit of a clue for you. And here's another clue. A huge step up. So, up we come. Now I've got to be careful because of spider mug. The moggy, the mad cat. We make sure it doesn't escape. It's only a little kitten. Okay, so we've, we're now trying to find why water goes into the kitchen when it's raining on the floor. And also, that's the window on the inside I've just been stood there, where all the water or the damp is coming from. So I'm going to give you a little pan round. So there's a roof behind me. It's previously had some roof works there because you can see the mortar joints is all free, the old new, sorry. So can anybody at home see anything wrong? A little bit closer. So this renders all relatively new as well. Okay, put it in the comments before three and a half minutes if you think you've sussed what it is. And now I'm going to tell you what I, th I think it is. So, first of all, if we look on the top of the house, on the top of the roof here, we have, going along there, we've got the guttering. Now just there above my finger, tickle tickle, just there, we've got a couple of slip tiles. So what's happening? is the tiles have come down, hit the guttering, and the guttering is now sitting like this, instead of sitting flat. So when all the water's coming down, it's running over the top of that guttering, which means it's running down the render. And render's just out like a sponge, which is not a good thing. So we've got an issue there. And also, so staying on the same point, we've got a hopper there, instead of a running outlet. So a hopper is basically like a giant cup. And you probably can't see it from this video, but on the end of there, there's no there's no stop end or running outlet into the hopper, it's just it's just an open pipe. So if that's on quite a full, we don't actually know when it's raining if all the water's hitting inside there. But then obviously the water runs down there and the shoe, which is the bit at the bottom of the guttering. So let me see if I can show you. So this bit here, the shoe, rather than it sitting like straight on top of that coping stone, so half goes on this roof and half goes on the roof the other side, it's all coming down here. So this roof is now taking all the water off the main roof. So this, this, this roof's now going to get absolutely peppered because it's got twice as much rainwater on this, on this small roof because it's taking all the rainwater off the big roof because it's all coming down there and running down here. So I've checked out 
the flashing, which is this lead stuff here, that all looks fine. So then I'm looking at this, and this guttering is this is just standard size guttering. Going all the way down here, hitting this running outlet, coming down and hitting the floor. So just to recap from the back, so we've got all the water that's come off that roof, hitting that point. So we've got, then we've got all that roof's water, plus all this roof's water, hitting this roof, which, but then we've got standard size gutter in here, which probably needs to be upgraded to be fair, if, if it was going to stay like this. And then all that's running down here and onto the floor. So the floor is now taking all the water from both roofs. So this must be, you know, get your surfboard out people. So I'm then looking at this and going, well, the grid's not blocked. The grid's okay. And the cheap version of Stal is okay and it's not even been opened. But anyway, so I then looked up and what I'm saying is the water ingress coming into the kitchen is because the floor height here is higher than the floor height in there in the actual kitchen itself. And if we look directly where the shoe's coming down, all the water there is going to be coming out. Now you can see that it's got a lot of water because it's all, all the concrete started washing away and all the, all the white shiny bricks are coming through. But we've also got a big gap down there, which means the water's easily going to go over the top of there and sink beneath these slabs. And then down here, we've also got a gap around there and there in a gap there which means there's lots of places on this floor where the water can get beneath the slabs so we've got like again all the rainwater from there all the rainwater from there all being concentrated into this area and that's the lowest point so the water's running to the lowest point but it's also finding its way beneath the floor so i think the solution to this problem that's what i'm saying is the problem I'm saying the solution is remove this hopper, remove this here totally, put a stop end there, bring the gutter in here, bring a down pipe down there. We're going to dig the floor up, put a pot, so put an actual grid there for all that water, put an actual grid here for this one because we're digging it up anyway, and then we're going to use something like tarmac and remove all this so it's all one thing so it essentially becomes like a wet room outside and then that way we can guarantee that all the water there's no gaps so the, the rain water off here that just collects naturally because it's a low point will go down the grid and then this will have its own grid this downspout here and then we're going to make a separate downspout for the house and then that will stop an awful lot of damage people sorry folks i've just realized i'm driving away from that house now and one thing i didn't mention is when we are digging and putting the tarmac on the floor, what I'm suspecting is when the water's falling between the slabs and falling between the, the grid, the gaps in the floor, is I'm, I'm assuming that the, the uh, sand and cement or the mortar between the brickwork beneath the ground level has all perished away and that's how water's entering the property. That might be quite an important bit I missed there. So put a message in the comments if you sussed it out before I did. And that's it from me. Another one to challenge John. And John's winning again. See you later, people.